Hello friends, it's Armstrong here from Other Miniatures. Today I'm gonna be working on this bone shaker. Yeah, I know this is a smaller one than the one that I was with before. Yeah, unless this is even called bone shaker. Let me just check. Now it's still bone shaker. <laughs> yeah, but it's gonna be converted into one of the Raider scars. So let's just get to it and you know make something really menacing out of it. And here we have it, a our little bone shaker. Yeah, bone shakers, like I said, the only annoying piece is the skull and the little handies, you know. But actually for the purpose of this build it works. Yeah. It works because I'm working on the raiders. So I have this one in here. Yeah, it's a tiny tiny miniature. Someone within the scale, I would say. Probably a little bit better than actually proper miniatures that should be that I have in here, the, the 170 second scale, because when you think, you know, his torso is almost there, it's a little bit small. But from what I remember, the um, war boys weren't actually that huge themselves. And I think about this as the war boys, so... And you see that it actually fits better into the car seat. So, what I have to do in here, and I don't want to mess too much with the car itself today. Well, of course, I gotta be messing with it. I need to cut off the steering wheel, because this guy already have a steering wheel built in. So he's gonna be sitting here. That's one of my war boys, yeah? And I need a second one. Someone looking crazy enough. Do I have... I have enough minis prepared for this, to be sure. Yeah, he's gonna be... Hmm. Maybe even three of them? Hmm. Yeah, this is a problem when you are not really... When, when stuff is not set in stone. Let me just think. If I cover this, I can ignore the warboy inside. And I can grab... The problem is that I'm choosing from the badge of the same miniatures, you know, for a to represent different sides of the story. So I could probably put this one on the roof. If I put the roof in. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so cutting out the steering wheel wasn't necessary, but whatever. Uh, let's just see what I can do. I'm gonna put the roof on this one. So, here it is, let's just cut the corners a little bit. Mm -hmm. And a bit here, let's see, yes, and the same on the back. Too, because all of the bone shaker cabin is a little bit rounded, so this rounding up this of it works. Okay, where is my super glue now? Here. So let's just smack it here. And like I said, I don't care about how it looks inside because it's gonna be covered now. Yep. All right. I have a person that's gonna be sitting with a Molotov cocktail on the roof. Yeah, so probably crazy enough. And I think that, you know, as this is War Boys vehicle, I'm gonna need a gun on it. 
I want them to be shown as a war like. So yes, there's a gun. Let's throw some extra, extra, extra armor. Yeah, so covering the window on the side of the driver here for extra protection. Of course, you know, not that I think that war boys would even consider protection as they motto was, you know, what a beautiful day. <laughs> Yeah. But yep, let's just ignore the fact that war boys were raised to be mental. Yeah, brainwashed by I don't remember the name of the character now. Ooh. Yeah, everybody knows. Yeah, everybody who watched the Fury Road knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, poor war boys weren't the smartest, uh, the most educated and you know the prettiest boys in the world but still you know the mothers love them <laughs> or not i'm not sure uh, so yeah there's a little bit of conversion done already let's continue because i don't think that this is you know this is too stock for me for now so where is where are my bad clippers now oh this isn't funny. I don't know where. Yes, there are. My bat clippers. Let's get. Let's dewheel this beauty. Yeah. So one wheel off. That was quicker than I was actually expecting. It surprised me. Yeah. Second wheel off. All right. So now we have. Not very wieldy. <laughs> okay, that was a bad pawn, sorry. Bone shaker. I, I, I did realize that it was going to be a bad pawn before I said it, but you know, it just had to happen. So, yeah. It was unavoidable. I'm just thinking because I prepared those wheels for it. I'm just thinking do I have enough of bigger wheels to do this? Mm. No, I don't actually. I didn't print enough, so I'm gonna have to live with those. I could probably just, you know, throw the same size of the wheels on both sides. Or use those ones. I like those ones because they have chains, but mm, maybe I'm gonna leave them for another project. Yeah, so let's just do those ones. This ones. Those ones, these ones. Constantly the same words. So, yeah, there's no much space for this to hold to. Yeah, but I hope against the reason that we actually manage to stick together. the problem is sliding off because of the hole inside of the wheels it's brilliant for some builds yeah but for this one it doesn't really work into the advantage As well yeah okay so this is the converting part done I don't want to do anything else to it yeah, I could probably add a bomb sticks to it but 
nah no bomb sticks so yeah let's just get this you know black bomb tent finished for the project so yeah i'll be right back and again i'm breaking the immersion with you know showing you at the same point that i left with the other car yeah but yeah i i think that most of you realize that you know when i do the stuff in the badges i convert first then i paint and you know then i use the spin table <laughs> It's just the fastest way to do stuff. And so again, I'm just dry brushing this. Yeah. And actually it's very heavy dry brush, but who cares? And like you see, when I was painting all of those cars, I did actually leave uh, a lot of original paint on. Not a lot, but enough, I would say. Just enough of it on. So now when i'm doing all of the brushing you can still see you know like a blue in here and the in the window and whatever and in here yeah it's uh, by itself it seems a little bit meh yeah but it just uh, kind of convey the haphazard nature of the of the group yeah that they just uh, do that yeah they have this damaged cars which they don't really put too much work in and you know the fact that you know this is a post-apocalyptic world and that everything is falling apart especially for the groups who have to survive on the move and i would say that this uh, group of uh, what do you call them again war boys yeah would be a group that have to survive on the move that's at least my interpretation of that one yeah so yeah let's just allow this all to dry and i'll be right back with weathering and here's the second of the raiders of the uh, war boys yeah so i'm gonna start from weathering it mm. And you know, because I didn't paint the wheels properly, I'm gonna have to weather them very heavily. Yeah. But that's the cost of inattention in this case. It wasn't planned, I was just not very attentive when I was painting them and that's what happened. Uh. So, snake bite leather first, yeah? It's a nice, very dirty, very dark brown color and you know it's gonna work into the it's gonna be heavy applied like I said I think that those war boys was chasing whoever you know for quite a while maybe a few days even although I don't know that the cars would have enough fuel you know maybe so again I'm applying a second coat of lighter color onto this bone shaker yeah. and now finally I'm coming to my third color yeah, and try to do it more sparingly than with the previous ones just to build you know this three layers of mud dirt mock whatever yeah who knows what biomes those, those two cars, those cars visited. Okay, this one is not done because now I have to figure out what color I want to paint my war boys. Mm. Well, I have one only standing out, which is, you know, which really helped me a lot because I'm so tired of painting miniatures today. Mm. I think I'm gonna go with red, yeah? So the clothing gonna be red, at least maybe red pants, and I think that this one actually looks like a female, but yeah. So red pants, uh, yeah I think that red clothing would be the choice because uh, this band would want to intimidate the enemies, so red camouflage definitely. So all the clothing red, then some human color 
the skin yeah and that's it ignore details yeah because if I want to keep the details properly I gonna spend next four to five hours on this and I'm really not looking forward to paint those tiny miniatures for so long okay now some skin so we have a hand in here we have face over here at least it looks like a face where is the hand now I think here and now orange color for the flame on the Molotov cocktail mm -hmm. and for the hair yeah. this warboy went all out into the you know flame and blood and whatever colors he could or she could because I think that definitely is a female so it is war girl instead of a war boy but I just ignore that, yeah? Okay, it's a horrific paint job, yeah? Probably one of my worst. If it comes about the minis, yeah? But I'm happy with the car. <laughs> so I gotta allow this to dry and throw it on the spin table. Okay. Oh my goodness. From Mama Gajina. Chyba się zdąży przed północą wyrobić. Mówię do siebie.
And the first uh, Warboys car, of course, the Bone Shaker. And it's very gently converted, to be completely honest. Uh, I could do much more with it. Yeah, but I think that the wheels uh, give it already a nice character. And putting the roof on and adding the gun, you know, just kind of mm, fix it up as a uh, more warlike vehicle. Yeah. Mm, I think that, uh, like I said, maybe a bomb sticks would be a nice addition, but unfortunately, I was rushing, like I said, a little bit through this because I spent 14 hours on the entire project. Well, bit more to be honest but let's just say 14 hours yeah I don't gonna count the drying time for everything because that's just ridiculous yeah but you know I'm happy with this one it's it was fairly quick to build only real issue was painting the war boy actually war girl on top yeah, because I think that both of those means are actually girls but yeah okay stop rumbling <coughs> I'm gonna stop talking now, so just, you know, if you like this video, please rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, family and everyone else. And everybody, you know, have a lovely day and be good to each other. Bye!